a viewer asks, they want to know how to compile and install a Linux kernel. And there's different ways to go about this. I'm going to show you how to do that on an already running Debian system and install it on a Debian system. And um, so here we go. It's actually pretty simple. We're not going to make any modifications. We're just going to go with the default stuff, but you'll see how you can modify stuff. Um, first thing we want to do is we want to go to kernel.org. And right away you can see you have a bunch of different kernels here. So uh, you can get, you can click on that. I'm going to right click and say copy address. I'm going to get this mainline one. There's also a stable one and there's long terms here. So get whichever one you want and then go into your shell, into a folder. Now you're going to need uh, a decent amount of space. I don't know exactly how much. Just make sure you have a decent amount of space in your hard drive because even though the kernel itself once compiled is small, there's a lot of files that are going to be um, created and source code that's going to be manipulated. It takes up a lot of space. Anyway, what we're going to say is I'm going to say wget and I'm going to paste in the URL I just copied straight to the tar.xz file and I'm going to say the output, I'll just call it linux.tar.xz. Okay, so that downloads and it shouldn't take very long here. Now there's other programs that you need, other packages you need to do the compiling. And again, I'm doing this on a Debian based system, so this should work on Linux Mint, uh, Ubuntu, or any Debian based system. So as you can see, the source code here, as it is all tarred up and zipped up, is going to be about 77 megabytes. Uh, so again, there's some packages we need, so I'm going to say sudo apt-get or aptitude install. You want actually you probably want to do apt-get update first and then you'll do an apt-get or aptitude install. Uh, we'll say kernel-package uh, a lib. You know what? I have a list over here. I'm just going to copy and paste this to make sure I type everything right plus to save some time. So there we go. We got our kernel package, our lib n curses five dash develop uh, development, which I you know over time this might change to newer versions. Anything that has a version number in it like that, if it says it's not available, do a search on this and see if something shows up with a different number. A uh, package called fake root wget, which probably is already installed, uh, but just to be sure, uh, bzin two, vzip two, and build essentials. You'll have to be sudo or root to run that. And I already have all that installed. So I'll just do that and blah, blah, blah. Pretend like I installed it because it's already installed. Next, I'm going to become root because most of this you, well, I guess not most of it, but you're going to want to be root in the end anyway. You know what? You don't have to be root. Why am I saying that? Ignore that part of what I just said. Next, we're going to say um, tar dash x capital J v f or sorry lowercase f and our a linux tar dot gz that will unzip it and we'll give it a moment here to unzip and it's going to unzip it to a folder called linux and so if i list out here you can see we have our original file that we downloaded and actually a a folder called linux dash 3.18 uh, because that's the number so linux 3.18 will go into there Clear the screen again. And now that we're in here, we're going to want to do a make, clean, and we'll do double ampersand there. And that means as long as that's successful, because if not, then it won't, we're going to say make mr proper. We'll hit enter and we'll let this run for a second here. So that ran, no errors. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to copy the configuration file from your current running system. Uh, so you already have a current installed and there are a configuration. We're just going to grab that config file to go off of. Obviously, you can modify this stuff if you need to in the future, but it's in your boot folder, in your root directory boot folder. We're going to say config. So I already have 3.16 is my current running uh, kernel. But... Um, so if you don't know and you want to put this into a script, what you can do is you can say uh, uh, backtick un name dash r and another backtick. And that will put in what you need there. 
or you can manually do it. But if you're going to do it from a script, you're going to want to type that in. So that's what I like to do, just because that's I want to get a habit of that. And then we're going to copy that your current configuration to our current folder. In fact, you don't need that backslash there. That I mean that forward slash there. We'll just say dot config. And so we copied that config file. Now at this point, we're going to say make menu config. We'll hit enter. And it brings up this configuration menu, which allows you to go in and change all your different settings uh, for what you want compiled into your kernel, things you don't want. So you can modify it to your likings. Uh, I'm not going to change any of this. I'm going to leave it all as the default. And in fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, I'm going to hit tab a few times, and I'm going to go over to load, and I'm going to load that dot config. It already says it, it sees it in the folder. That's the config file we just copied over. I'm going to set OK. Then I'm going to go to exit, and then I'm going to say, it says, do you wish to save your new configuration? I'm going to say yes. And so it took that config that we have. So we're compiling the new kernel with our current settings, basically. Uh, next, we're going to say make dash uh, kpkg uh, clean. I am reading notes. This is not something I do regularly. We'll hit enter, and right there, it's going to clean, uh, do, do a make clean here. And now we're at our second to last step. We're actually at the point, we're actually gonna start our compiling right now. And this is the part that's gonna take a long time. On my system, which is a fairly decent speed system, um, I haven't actually timed it, but I'm sure it takes more than an hour. Uh, basically, I'm gonna start this and then walk away. <laughs> Maybe start it before you go to bed at night. But we're gonna use that fake root package that we installed. We're gonna do fake root make dash um, kpkg dash dash init rd dash dash append dash two dash version equals and then I'll say uh, dash custom and you really want to spell stuff right when you're doing this or otherwise it's not going to work and then we're going to say kernel image kernel underscore headers and at this point we're going to hit enter and it's going to go and it's going to take quite a long time and again I'm going to stop the video here in a moment but basically what this will do is it's going to compile it and again this is doing this on a Debian based system it's going to create two deb packages for you and then you can just install those uh, using um, your uh, uh, dpkg dash i and those packages or if you're on something like Ubuntu or Linux Mint usually if you double click them inside your fire browser it will ask for your password and if you want to install and it will install them and then you can reboot into them um, so that last little part like I said when you're done in the folder that you started in uh, will there'll be the two dev file dev packages and just install those and you're good to go so I don't think I need to show you that because if you don't know how to do that, you shouldn't be trying to compile a kernel. Uh, <laughs> so again, not that hard. A few commands. I will have a link in the description to my notes on how to do this. Uh, basically, a script that you could probably copy and paste into your shell and will we'll work for you. But you'll want to switch out the link to the more current uh, kernel because new kernels come out all the time. So be sure to check out the description of this video for the URL to uh, the link to the notes on everything I just did. And as always, please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There should be a link in the description uh, to my website. And as always, I hope that you have a great day. Okay, this is an introduction to filmsbychris.com. I'm Chris, that's Chris the K. That's me right there. My daughter Ember, and my wife Jennifer. We pretty much live in the swamps of Florida. I'm a firefighter by day, as well as by night, we work long hours. But that's not why you're here. 
you're here about the videos I put up on YouTube. These videos are mainly about computers and programming, which means most of my videos look something like this. And if that's what you're interested in, great. If not, that's alright. I do videos on other topics too, such as video editing, special effects, photo editing, 3D design, and music creation. If you are one of my viewers and you enjoy my videos, my Patreon page is a place where you can go to help support my videos. So I ask that you take the time to go to my Patreon page and look at the different levels of rewards you can receive for different levels of backing. There should be a link in the description of this video if you are watching it on YouTube. Otherwise, you can visit patreon.com forward slash metalx1000. And I thank you for your time and your support. Have a great day.